I want to talk about what you just mentioned about misinformation, because oftentimes before yeah. in previous political chapters, disinformation, telling people where to vote the wrong way, that was kind of these were called considered shenanigans. But it's becoming more ominous. Can you talk a little bit about that and what you oh, will yeah. do to ensure that there are penalties for that? Here we go. <laughs> Yeah, years ago, it was the little things telling people to vote the day after the election. And, you know, we kind of brushed them off. Now we know it's intimidation at the at the ballot box. Mm -hmm. It's it's undermining the idea that uh, mail-in ballots aren't uh, legal. I think we need to push back on this. There, there's no guarantee to free speech on misinformation or, or hate speech, and especially around our democracy. Isn't that weird? That's, that's just weird, man. That's weird. There, there's no guarantee to free speech on misinformation or, or hate speech, and especially around our democracy. I think you all know that I've always felt the nine most terrifying words in the English language are, I'm from the government and I'm here to help.